Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the second. I believe this is the solar eclipse, right? Uh, keep in mind that this reading um, is not sign specific, and you should be watching this reading on the on the YouTube channel Soul Source Tarot. Um, if it's on another channel, if you could report that channel, I would really appreciate that. So anyway, this is this is Jennifer, and we're we're gonna get started. We're gonna, you know, I when I went to choose the deck, okay, I I was looking around. I picked up a couple decks, you know, and I took the card out of the middle, and it didn't resonate, whatever. So then I grabbed this deck right here, and I pulled the card out. The arrow font, so. This is the deck, okay? And then I figured, well, you know, since it's the eclipse, we need to pull a couple of uh, starting energies, right? So I was like, well, more than just one, not three this time, but two. So I figured, oh, what deck am I gonna use for, you know, a supporting energy? And I might, my hand went right to this deck. It went right to it. I don't know why. Hero font, we'll flip it. Hero font again. So that just confirmed <laughs> that this was the right deck and this is the right deck. Okay? Now the Hierophant is the inner guide. The Hierophant is the teacher. It's divine guidance. Okay? It is. So, and it's represented by Taurus. So it's the high priest. So during this solar eclipse, somebody or everybody is going to be receiving intuitive nudges from the universe. The trick is to listen and believe. You have to believe and you have to listen. Believe in your own path. Don't let anybody sway you. You know what you need to do. And they are going to give you the guidance to do so. Let's get started. This reading is not science specific. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, it's not. What do we have? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for... July 2nd, what can we expect? What can we expect? What is what is about to happen? Regret! Wonderful! Isn't that fantastic? I know that I cannot change the past. Perhaps people are going to be feeling very emotional. Filled with regrets over their past actions. No, it cannot be changed. It cannot be changed. But that is not how the story ends. You have the opportunity at this time to change your future. Make sure you don't regret it this time. Can you tell us with this deck? I don't know if we should take that reversed or upright. My gut. It says to go after love. Follow your heart. Do what's right for you. What does your heart want? Do you want to be in a loveless situation that doesn't emotionally fulfill you? 
Or do you want emotional fulfillment? What's it going to be? The choice is yours. Just as much as the choice is mine. And I choose love. Justice is about to be served. It's time to bring balance back. Somebody is facing a heavy decision, a heavy choice. But they're seeking balance. And the only way to bring this balance back is to let go of regrets and follow your heart. Justice is also a card of fairness, truth, and integrity. It's about doing the right thing. So we could have somebody that decides to be honest, act with integrity, and do whatever it takes. To do the right thing. Justice. Karma. Karma. Hmm. Truth. Some sort of truth is going to come out. Ace of Cups upright. I guess I chose correctly, didn't I? <laughs> it's all about love at this point. Even though you can't change the past, it's time. It's time to be loved. It's time to go after love. It's time for love. Choose love. This could be a new offer of love, right? It could be. This could be a new offer of love coming in. New opportunity for love, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, think somebody has been trying to escape. Somebody ha may have been trying to escape their true feelings. This is um, extreme highs and lows, ups and downs. Somebody has probably been getting frustrated. Maybe they've been wallowing in their regrets. And maybe they have received some karma for their past actions. Because this is upheaval. Three of Wands, getting prepared. Look at that. That's crazy. Get prepared. Get prepared, okay? Because something is arriving. Could be love. This could be an arrival of love. Mm. The Fool reversed. This is, this is uh, fear. We got somebody is that is fearful, fearful of starting over, lack of faith, scared to take a risk. The emperor reversed. <laughs> Definitely scared. Definitely scared. Oh God. And there could be some anger, especially with this card as well. There could be some anger. There could be some, definitely some frustrations. Somebody's been clinging to control, wanting to control. Seriously wanting to control, like a big deal. Ha not wanting to relinquish control. Ego probably in the way. Seriously. Maybe other people's opinions as well. So... We got somebody here that is regretting their past actions, but their ego is still center stage. 
Eight of Cups reversed. Ooh. Thinking about it. Thinking about love. This is the Eight of Cups reversed is thinking about it. So we got somebody who is really, really, really thinking about their mistakes. Thinking about love. Thinking about what love is and what love isn't. Thinking about the upheaval, the ro <clears throat> excuse me, the roller coaster that they have been on. Ten of Wands. Oh my God, we got somebody who's overwhelmed. Doesn't know where to go. Scared. We got somebody here that is really scared. Ten of Swords. Wow. Wow. This is, this is, uh, painful. It is very painful. This is defeated. This is a loss. Somebody is feeling defeated over a loss that they have experienced. But this is a completion and this is a completion. We have a completion here. Something is coming to an end. These, it is an end of this roller coaster ride. Somebody has really been burdened with their burdened with regret. Four of Swords reversed. This is extreme exhaustion. We got somebody here that is so mentally exhausted. They have been overwhelmed with their thoughts, their regrets, their guilt. They've been isolating themselves. They've been very frustrated. Their health has probably declined because they haven't been living in their truth. Think about that justice card. They haven't been true to themselves. They haven't been true to their heart because they've been trying to prove a point. This emperor reversed. But they've been trying to prove to everybody else but themselves. And they've been staying in a loveless situation. Queen of Wands. There may have been another person involved in their life. There may have been a person that, you know, was very seductive to them. Maybe it was somebody that they could easily control. But we have somebody here that has a new vision. It's like they get this new vision. Page of Swords reversed. star card. We got this person that has this new vision of what wish fulfillment really is. But again, there's fear. There's fear. They've been observing in the background. They've been watching. They may have been, you know, they may be really upset by what they're seeing or hearing.
and they got this new vision and they're, they, it's like they want to go after it. It's like I want to go after something else. But in order to do so, they're going to have to let go of control, the need to control, and they're going to have to face their fears. So yeah, we got somebody here that has been very, very fearful. I got to turn the light back on. Damn it. There's going to, yeah, they're going to be enlightened. They are about to be enlightened or they have been enlightened. Somebody is regretting involving another person. Now that star card, there's hope. That is a card of hope. Somebody is watching and they are hoping that they can heal. They are hoping that they can have a renewal or they're hoping that they can five of pentacles find security they're hoping that they can go back they're hoping that they can they're hoping that they can heal a situation where they left somebody behind They're very worried. We have somebody here that is very, very worried about being accepted, being forgiven. Anyway, let's change this up because I feel like something is arriving with that Three of Wands. Something is arriving. This is the end of waiting. Something is arriving. Okay. Somebody is fearful. They're fearful of letting go of control. But they have to at this point because it's caused them so much depression and anxiety and exhaustion and overwhelming feelings of distress seriously it's 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 made their health decline and there is an opportunity for love there's an opportunity for love here that ace of cups knight of swords there's fear though knight of swords reversed somebody is fear they're letting fear get in the way of love yeah they are Maybe in the past they were an untrustworthy individual, you know. They didn't act with integrity. They didn't follow their truth. They, they were a liar, you know. They tried to escape. They tried to escape, you know, accountability. Seven of Wands reversed. They may have been overly critical. They may have misjudged a situation. It's like, but now they see the light. Now they see their mistakes. Two of cups. And now they want love. And now they know what love is. And now they want this union. They want a union. They want a partnership. They want love. Love. A union is coming. A love partner is going to arrive. A love partner is coming. Seven of Cups reversed. This is making a clear choice, a clear decision. Somebody's about to make a decision. Somebody's about to make a choice. It's like now they know what they want. 
No, they're coming out of confusion. That's what this eclipse is going to bring. It's going to bring clarity. It's going to wake somebody up to, up to love. It's like this, I want love. So I feel as though we are going to have somebody is coming with that three of wands. Something is about to arrive that leads to a union and ends suffering. It's breaking free. <laughs> it's breaking free from that devil's grip, from the ego. It's letting go of the ego for happiness. So be prepared. Get prepared. for a union. Get prepared for a partnership. Get prepared to fall in love. For whoever this is for. Somebody has is about to make a choice, a clear choice, They get this vision and they decide to go after their wish. It's like, oh, this is a dream come true. This is the this is what I want. So yeah, that's what I see. That's what I got. Good luck.